Okay, John says that the Ural is ready to go. Ooh, I see lights. Look at this. No. 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 Oh. oh, really? It's that fuse. Wait a Always. minute. You gotta Wait. be kidding me. It was working earlier. Yeah, I saw it. It's it totally Wait, working. Right now or? No, no, no earlier. earlier. Okay, all right, You're whatever. Whatever, right. I'll figure that out later. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Couple little things to fix. No way, it'll just <laughs> punch it, he says. All right, let's do it. What happened? Oh, my tires are super low. I got flat tires. All right, okay. Oh yeah, he lost all of the air. Yeah, you might have spun your stem. Oh, yeah, I did, for sure. Yeah. Yep. Yep. First Great, fatality of all that torque. Yep. Guy spun his stem. It's okay, it's only a half an hour project to replace the inner tube it's on this It's got thing. so much <laughs> torque, it broke the rubber. <laughs> Friday, so today we're gonna actually leave a little bit earlier, but this is what I got done today Basically mostly the harness is ready to go We'll just have to mount these three units up here and then uh, run the perspective wires inside and Connect them so this is uh, this is a first for me because I've never done a Dual controller system, right? So this is a little bit different than what I've done before. Uh, in what way? Well, these controllers are uh, 1239s, which means they're like higher voltage. So there's a little bit of difference there. Plus, I'm also running a master slave configuration, right? And so that's what these cables are here. These are the canvas connectors. And they had a, you know, I kind of modified everything to make it more cleaner. Uh, it had connectors that we're not gonna use, like a pass-through connector and stuff. Um, I try to shove everything through that one gland nut here, but it's not going to happen, so I'm going to have to run an, an, another one to run the stuff for the this big cables for the uh, charger. But anyway, so what kind of stuff runs? As you can see, this is the master. This is the slave. There's less, less cables in here. And the reason is because, well, the slave doesn't have to do much um, other than just match whatever this one's doing. So a lot of the signal cables, all the stuff for sensors and stuff, you, it, it doesn't need it because it's getting all that input from the other one. So what kind of stuff um, gets run on one of these harnesses here? Well, things like, uh, so you gotta run all your cables for your contactors, right? That's what some of these wires are. Um, you got to run region power button, then there's the, the throttle pedal uh, signal. Other than that, it's all pretty much the same as what we did on the Gia. Yeah, go you want to go backwards? <laughs> so this week, Bream and the whole team at EV West here were on TV. Uh, Discovery Channel. Brand new Wheeler Dealers starts Monday at 9, only on Discovery. Well, none of us have cable anymore. We were on our way to some restaurant over here to see it. As I'm driving, I noticed that my lights are very, very dim. And so got to Bream's place. Uh, he had already left. And so I took out my voltmeter, checked my volt total, and it was really low. And so what happened is essentially that I killed my uh, DC to DC. And it happens uh, every once in a while, right? I actually never 
have a true DC to DC. I just had some power supplies that I put there three years ago and they've been working fine. Um, they power the car without a battery in fact and uh, you only need the battery if you're going to be drawing like a lot of power and so I still have the original headlights which pull a, a lot of power it's like 12 amps I think both of those right and so now that it's been like raining and it's, I've been driving at night and I've been you know putting the radio loud and, and then it's the wipers on so it's like drawing a bunch a bunch of current right and so I they've been working extra extra hard uh, since I don't have my big lithium battery anymore I just have a, a regular lead acid uh, they were working extra hard and so eventually they just died and so now I'm gonna have to install a real DC to DC but um, this last couple days has been raining and there's really no space in any of these bays the EV West is super packed right now there's more cars than uh, space available and so I couldn't really install a DC to DC so right now I'm, I have a, an hour and a half drive up to Rancho and I got to take off before the Sun goes down so I don't have to use the headlights uh, because I just got what I charged the battery all day yesterday so it's fully charged but once it's gone it's gone and so and my bus cannot run without 12 volts anymore because it doesn't have the DC to DC um, and so I got to take off. Uh, but next week, definitely, I think we'll tackle that. If the weather allows, then uh, it's going to be sunny in here and I can get in here one day and just take it off and finally install a proper DC to DC on my bus. Little by little, the Samba is becoming a real electric car. Um, and by real, I mean, like, you know, it's like not a hack. I, everything that I did, I did it my way. And, you know the cheap way just sometimes even just to prove a point and stuff right but eventually you get tired and you know you just gotta I got no time to be messing around with the 12 volt system on this thing anymore so uh, stay tuned for that video next week I'm sure you had installed DC to DC and the choices that we have all right How's the, the power feel now? Oh, it got Dude, better. It's just, it's here. all wheelie. It's, it's all, all wheelie, wheelie all day long. All it's, I was thinking, day. if I can get it just right, I could do a wheelie and do a donut wheelie. If I can just keep the front it's wheel right off, because it's pulling, yeah, because it's only powered on the one wheel. Oh, so oh but you can, don't you, can't I can do tool, it? do wheel, but then it can't turn. Oh, so it's either, it's either, it turns to the right automatically, or I can't turn at all. Oh, so it's, it's weird. It's great off-road, that's the whole thing, and you know. Yeah, if it's yeah. in the dirt, then we're, we're all no problem. We're going places. Looks good. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I think so. A little bit of work. Hey, I appreciate the help. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no and, problem. Uh, Salvo, thanks for uh, riding around in the sidecar, checking it out. Takes, takes big balls. <laughs> oh, oh, check it out, guys. Uh, volt battery. Chevy Volt.
would you explain bottom balancing to those that don't know what that is? Oh, really? You're going to put me on the spot like that? <laughs> So we're back here in San Diego once again, and I think Michael got a new toy. Pinscour. The rapid pace of progress in modern life means ever greater demands in the field of transportation. The latest development of Steyr Daimler Poop, the Pinsenscour, named after a hardy and reliable breed of Alpine.